this is EB with Design Tips. Welcome to our new channel and today's tutorial we're we'll working in Photoshop CS4 using the perspective effect on your text to add a little depth to your design projects. Alright, I'm going to show you how to do that now. Now as you see in my project window this is the effect we'll be doing. It might look something like this or similar and of course I'll show you guys step by step how to do this effect as quick and effective as possible. All right, and today we've been working in CS4. Uh, most of these effects are in CS2, CS3, and also CS4. So if you have any of those uh, versions, you should be able to uh, stick with me. All right, and of course, I'll have most of the instructions in the description to the right and effects and uh, shortcuts if I use them during the video. So if I go too fast for you guys, then you can, of course, either slow it down, watch the video again, or just check the description box for step by step instructions. All right. First thing we can do is go ahead and open up a new project, and this will be fine. We're just going to work with 900 by 550 pixels. It doesn't really matter um, if you like to use the, do the transparent, uh, the back transparent. That's you know, of course personal preference. All right. Now that we have a new project open. What I'm going to do is go ahead and add a new layer by hitting our, my new layer bar, and go ahead and add text. All right. So I'm just going to type in Macintosh, since that is com the computer that I'm working on. And this is a fine, um, I guess a fine uh, uh, text. You can use it with any text. I'm gonna go and just I'll do a basic text, just to show you that this effect will work with any text. Okay. Now you want to use the effect called perspective, and it'll be found in the edit win window. Now, if you go to perspective and form, and you go to the perspective, you will see that it has been blurred out, and you can't use that. That is because you have to go in here and right click and use a uh, rasterize type okay so once you hit rasterize type then you'll get a nice little effect here and once you go to edit now transform now you can hit perspective okay so that's just a quick step you have to use so make sure you rasterize your top your text and then you can use perspective go ahead and click on the corners and drag down and drag up to your personal preference of how you want this to look now right now it might look a little weird but we're gonna add some depth to it by adding a backdrop and show, I'll show you that next. Okay, so go ahead and hit enter whenever that's what you want. Move it around to your uh, desired spot on your project. We can go ahead and save this. That's fine. Just call it Untitled One for now. All right. Now this is the uh, part where you start to look. Um, it starts a little. I'm gonna look more professional. What I'm gonna do first is go ahead and duplicate my layer. Macintosh copy. That's fine. And now this is the most important part, guys. You wanna hold down the Alt key or Option key. And then you use your keypad to either go left, right, up, or down, whichever you want the depth of the text to go. So I'm just going to go to the left, which is the way my text is going anyway. So I'm just going to hit left, 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 left. And as you see, I'm going left. It's adding layers to my project. I'm going to go ahead and do 13 of them. Um, sounds like a good number. And now I'm going to take all these layers, the copies, select these, and I'm going to merge all layers. As, as you see, it snaps all here. Now, as you see, I had this layer here, which is my main layer, and you can't tell if that's on or off when I uh, when I use the image. But even even with it's on top, you still can't tell. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and double click on my uh, layers I have behind, and add a nice graduate gradient overlay. All right. As of course, you can go into your layer options and add different gradients. So I'm just going to play with this one and add a little bit to it to give it that nice brush effect by adding just a quick another color add a black in there and of course to add another one you can just click and move around okay so that looks pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and press OK and of course guys this is all personal preference so depending on how you want your text to look it you know of course that's all personal preference like I said before so I'm gonna use it to stay, keep it all linear you can you can do it however you want I'm just gonna do mine linear and that looks pretty good right there so go ahead and press OK you can also add a effect, a uh, stroke around it, and it gives a little more depth. Just make sure it's very small, like one or two. So go ahead and make that a one. And I don't like that, so I'm going to do it. There you go, by hitting Command-Z. All right, now let's go ahead and play with our top effect. And just go down, guys, under your uh, layers. And just, like I said, personal preference, I'm going to go do it a, let's do a small inner shadow. That looks pretty good right there. As, as you know, guys, you can work with your contour. Go in here and work with these different effects to make it kind of look, uh, kind of pop. All right, so that looks pretty good right there. Okay, once you have the effect you want on your top layer and, of course, your back layer here, make sure that the very first layer is on the top here. You can close out of these. And to make a mirror effect or reflection effect like I have here, it's very simple. All you're going to do is first 
take these and group them by hitting Command G. All right, which would be the shortcut, and that's all in the description box. And then from here, you want to make a uh, you want to go ahead and duplicate this group. So just right click and press Duplicate Group. And as you see, that's fine. Group one, copy, and then hit Command T, which is to transform. And then you can drag down, and also you can rotate around to however you want it to line up. So go ahead and scale that up, see if that lines up fairly well. As you see, it might look a little dark right now, but once you hit enter and you have it lined up, the color will pop. So we're going to line this up for you guys. And then that looks almost close. Let me turn it just a bit more and crank it up. There we go. All right, once you have it at your desired uh, height and also rotation, you can go ahead and click enter. I'll do that now. As you see, the color pops back in, and I'm going to move it up just a bit. I think that's going to work for us right there. All right. From here, you're going to go ahead and add a mask layer onto your group one copy. And then, of course, find your gradient tool. Choose the gradient you'd like to use. Make sure it's selected to the first one. Mode, normal, opacity, 100. And then just click and drag across. Now, again, guys, if you would like to do a straight line, you just hold down the shift tool. As you see, it snaps in place to the desired 45 degree angle and 90 degree angles around your canvas. But as you see, it is a perspective text. So you want it to kind of lean a little bit to the left. I think that looks pretty good right, not there, <laughs> right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and save those changes. And then what you wanna do is play with the opacity. So go over to the top right, layer the, take the opacity down to about, I'd say about 40, 45%. That looks good right there. Go ahead and hit enter, and guys, there you have the effect. All right? If you have any concerns about this tutorial or any questions, or you have an idea for an upcoming tutorial, please email us at designtips at gmail.com or our main email, which is macintoshtips at yahoo.com. Hope you guys have enjoyed this basic tutorial on how to make your text more in-depth using the 3D effect and also the uh, perception effect, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.